What's up guys, what's going on camp? I'm coming at you with a review. Those are the shoes, we're gonna do the box real quick. Uh, the shoe was inspired by Amsterdam's Red Light District. You got 18 and over, sneaker bass, kangaroos. They are a size, let me turn it this way, size 44, uh, rouge red and black, coil R2, sneaker bass. Shout outs to Sol Suelas, or Solo Suelas, he hit me up. Um, I'll put his Instagram handle up here. He hit me up and told me that his pair fit a little big and asked me if I wanted them And I was like, you know what? Yeah, I've been talking a lot of smack about this shoe. I would like to see exactly what um, The hubbub is all about so let's get into this review <clears throat> um, Extras off the bat before I get into it or actually this red velvet Dust bag that came inside there, which is pretty dope. You got some branding on there a little leather patch kangaroos 18 and over sneaker bass kind of fire um, probably never gonna use this, but nice little addition to the shoe or extra for the shoe. Um, extra laces are here, but I'll show you those in one second. Let's get into this review real quick. So we'll start off on the lateral side. Uh, very simplistic on the upper portion of the shoe. You got black and you got red. Um, a couple different iterations or alterations to make it stand out a little bit more would be the ostrich leather on the back portion of the shoe. So we'll get into the forefront and then we'll move our way back. Lateral side, toe box, toe cap, all in this red suede. It's not the best suede, it's not the worst suede. It's definitely better than Nike suede, so let's just get that out of the way right now. It's very short hair, so you get a very short brush on it, not very long strokes. I could definitely brush this up and make it a little bit more hairy, but why? A little branding on the toe cap area, uh, three X's or triple X for the red light district being triple X, obviously, rated R, whatever you wanna go with, but the back portion of the shoe is really like the main focus in this ostrich leather. It's it's really, it's not the softest leather. Ostrich leather really isn't that soft, but it gives you this different effect with these raised areas. So it, it looks pretty dope. I do like it. And the pictures uh, made me feel a different way about the shoe. I was like, these, these are way too edited for me to even think that this is what the shoe looks like, but they do look really good in person. I don't even think this camera light is doing them justice. So we'll leave that off the table for now. The overlay on that ostrich leather is a black suede kangaroo hit or logo. The upper portion of the lace area is also in that black suede. Um, the rest of the wrap into the heel portion is the ostrich leather, except for the heel cup area, which is this black suede as well. Uh, short hair, flat, not too crazy. You have this, um, I don't know what this thing is called, but the, the guy's holding it in the picture of the shoe or the picture for the shoe on one of the sites. And it has triple X uh, embossed in there or debossed. And then the actual pole is embossed. It's, it's kind of dope little effect they got going on. And the suede feels a lot better towards the back portion, which is probably just from rubbing inside the box. So brushing it'll probably make the suede feel way better. Just a heads up. Medial side, and then we'll get into the toe box. Same thing from the lateral side. You got the ostrich leather wrapping around the whole under portion of the kangaroo logo, rolling into the toe box and toe cap is your red suede again. No hits on the inside for the triple X, which is very weird. We'll get into the tongue real quick. So the tongue has got the ostrich leather also down the entire thing. And then the logo on there is a chick with her titties out. Um, obviously reminiscent of the red light district in Amsterdam. Same thing on the footbed. You can see them as well. I might have to take it out so I could show you sneaker bass stamping on the bottom of the footbed. I'm going to pull one of them out just so I could show you guys what's going on here. So yeah, a whole bunch of boobies, titties tiggle bit is on the uh, footbed. Uh, kind of dope. I mean, if you're going to go with it, might as well go with it all the way, right? <laughs> uh, we'll get to the midsole and the extras after I do the laces. So you got black 3M rope laces in them right now. Um, kind of dope. A little branding for BXXS. Uh, I would assume that's Bass, Sneaker Bass, uh, and Ruse on this one. So Sneaker Bass with the two X's and Ruse with the two X's. Uh, nice little addition for the triple X area. Kind of dope. I like that. Clean little hit. And they're actually two different chicks on the tongue. So one's got her hair down and one's got her arms up. Uh, but they both have their breasts out, so that's good. Either way, let's get into this midsole. Midsole is a uh, like a cream bone color. Um, kind of dope. It's not, listen, I, I put them on already. They're not the most comfortable things. And you can see it has like this roll to it in the mid portion here. So it kind of rolls out. You can actually feel that when you're wearing this shoe. It's not like they flatten out. It actually holds that shape. So it's a little weird. I will have to get used to that, but it is what it is. Um... What is this, Dynacoil, um, deboss there, or actually in the midsole, because that's what it is. You got a little speckling towards the mid portion leading into the heel area. Same thing on both sides from the mid portion, a little past the mid portion into the heel area. Outsole is a gum. You got a gum bottom on this bad boy uh, with the ruse and the uh, red little river going through it or spring, whatever the fuck that is. Either way, it's kind of fire. Let me show the extra laces real quick where they're kind of fire. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit just so you guys could 
look at them while I'm grabbing these laces. So you got black flat laces that can go in there as well, and you have a black and red rope lace that go in there as well. The aglets are metal, but there's no, oh, wow. Well, there's some triple X action going on on the uh, aglets of the lace. I don't know if I can show it to you guys too well, but they're definitely on there, stamped in because they're metal aglets. So that's pretty dope too. And I think it's on the other ones also. I did a little clang together so you could tell they're metal. Metal aglets, pretty clean. Overall, very fire. Uh, I will do an on foot for these bad boys. Uh, I hope I didn't miss anything. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Is there anything different on the footbeds? No, footbeds are the same. Um, everything is uh, pretty good on this. Toe cap, everything. All right, we're good. Uh, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, hit me in the comment section. Um, I will be doing part two of the closet this week at some point, maybe Thursday or Friday. It'll probably go up this weekend. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm out of here. Peace.